I'm Kanisha Grayson. I'm your host of The Art of Applying. I'm the founder of The Art of Applying, and we've got some awesome advice for you this morning. My guest is Judy Kugel. Judy is on The Art of Applying team. She's one of our consultants. And just to give you a short, short bit of her bio, she joins our team after a 33-year career at Harvard's John F. Kennedy School of Government, where she served on the admissions committee for 25 years. Now, Judy uh, served as a member of the MPP, MPA2, and M Mid-Career MPA Admissions Committee, so she has evaluated thousands of applications. So Judy, as a reader of an application for those many, many years that you read thousands of applications, what are the top three deal breakers in an application for you? First of all, the application should not look like it was the same application that was sent to every other school. So if it's a if it's just um, you know very generic kind of application where people don't say why the Kennedy School why for me why now and what I can bring to the Kennedy School where that's missing then the person is going to go into my uh uh I don't think so pile um, I want to say right off um, at least in my experience at the Kennedy School anybody who applies is going to get a full read but I think. A generic application that looks like this person is applying to every school um, in the universe and not just uh, policy school, but law school, business school. They haven't figured out who they are yet, and we need to know who you are to see what you are going to contribute to our school and what you are going to get from it. How do you know? when you've gotten one of those applications where you can just tell they're applying to Columbia SIPA, Johns Hopkins, Berkeley, UT, it's okay to apply to several schools, but how is it that you know they're using the exact same essays for every school? Because it's important to to refer to what you know about the Kennedy School. Important to say, well, when I'm in the Kennedy School, this is the track that I think I want to follow. Um, I've watched such and such a professor or I've talked to such and such an alum, something that makes it a personal, uh, your personal attachment to a relationship with the school. And so many of our applicants come through talking to our alums, they're working for our alums or whatever, they need to make that very clear that their reason for applying to the Kennedy School is not just because it's, I hate to say this, Harvard, mm -hmm. but because they have given a huge amount of thought to what is the best place for them. And that's what they need to, com uh, to convince the admissions committee of, that not only are they, do they have the talent that we're looking for, but the school is the right fit for them and they need to prove that to us. And I always say that the same advice for being a successful Harvard Kennedy School applicant can be extrapolated for applying to any top policy Absolutely. school. 